from the marketing company who created the 1972 Texas Rangers highlight film, the shortest film on record. This is Kurt Berglund with more Pine Tar Baseball. Today, you're at the start of something cool. From the teams of the 2010 set available now at ttlbaseballgame.com, where you get the 2010 Giants, the 2011 Rangers, the 2012 Orioles, the 2014 Angels, the 2016 Cubs, the 2017 Dodgers, the 2018 Red Sox, the 2018 Brewers, the 2019 Astros, and the 2019 Nationals. We're starting today a best of seven series between two of these clubs. They are, in fact, the 2018 Brewers, winners of 96 games and the National League Central Division, who went on to lose the National League Championship Series to the Los Angeles Dodgers, four games to three. They will be taking on the 2016 Chicago Cubs in the Battle of I-94, the 2016 Cubs won 103 games in that season and also won the World Series four games to three over the Cleveland Indians. This is best of seven. Tonight, game one in Wrigley Field. And we are ready to go. Full rosters. I made the lineups. We're ready to go. Let's look at the batting orders. First for the visiting 2018 Milwaukee Brewers. Leading off in center field, Lorenzo Kane. Batting second in right field, Christian Yelich. Batting third in left field, Ryan Braun. Batting fourth at first base, Jesus Aguilar. Batting fifth at second base, Travis Shaw. Batting 6th at 3rd base, Mike Moustakas. Batting 7th and doing the catching, Manny Pena. Batting 8th and playing shortstop in Game 1, Orlando Arcia. And batting ninth and pitching in Game 1, Yuli Chassin. As you can see, Chassin is a B pitcher on the road. He has no modifiers for strikes or walkout strikes or walks, and he has a maximum of six innings pitched. Unless, of course, he's doing well and then he has a chance to get more. For the homestanding 2016 Chicago Cubs, this lineup will probably look familiar. Dexter Fowler in center field leads off. Anthony Rizzo bats second and plays first base. Chris Bryant bats third and plays third base. Ben Zobrist will bat fourth and play left field. Addison Russell will bat fifth and play shortstop. Jason Hayward will bat sixth and play right field. David Ross, who is, of course, John Lester's personal catcher, will bat seventh and, I'm sorry, will bat, I might mix it up, my bad. Okay, Javi Baez who will play second base and bat seventh. And David Ross, personal catcher to John Lester, will bat eighth and do the catching. And John Lester, sure enough, doing the pitching, where you see he is an A-plus pitcher at home. He has no modifiers for walks or strikeouts. And he also has a maximum innings pitch of six, which can also adjust if he's doing well. So we are ready to go. Lorenzo Kane is ready to step in against John Lester. This is best of seven. So every game, every pitch, important. We're going 2-3-2 two, two in this one. Two in Wrigley, three at Miller Park, and the last two if needed in Wrigley. All right, let's get ready to roll. Lorenzo Kane standing in. The right-handed batter's box, he had 308 in 20, 
18, and he is ready to rumble. The pitch to Lorenzo is an 83, which is lifted in the air to center field, and Dexter Fowler is going to make the first put out in this series, and that's one down. Christian Yelich will stand in. Christian Yelich, the MVP in 2018, standing in against Lester. Christian hit 326 in 2018. The pitch to him is a 96, and that's a fly ball towards left field where Ben Zobrist will happily pocket it, and that's two down. And third is Ryan Braun. Ryan Braun hit 254 in 2018. The pitch to him is a 55, which is a ground ball to Baez. Javi gobbles it up and throws, and that's one, two, three for Lester in the first. And the Cubs are coming to bat. We'll go through in this inning how to read a pine tar card in case you have not had the pleasure to do so as the Cubs have their first at bat. So the first thing you do in a pine tar card, pine tar roll, sorry, is to look at the green die. If it's an even roll, like a four, then you will look at the blue die for your tens number. These are 10 digit dice. If it's an odd number on the green die, you look at the red column, or the red uh, die as your tens digit. And the white die is always your ones digit. So Dexter Fowler coming up to the plate, he's a switch hitter, so he'll be in the left-handed batter's box against Yuli Chassin. We'll look at this one as a practice, as the real thing, but we'll show you what we're doing with the rolls. So a five is odd, obviously. So that means we're looking at the red die for tens. That's so that's twenty, and the one is a three, so twenty-three on the roll because it's a red die. Then we come down here and we look at the right-handed pitcher because that's who Fowler's facing. Shasin is a righty. Twenty-three is a base on balls. And Fowler is aboard, and that is how simple it is to read a pine tar card. We'll do another roll and show you what we're doing. Anthony Rizzo with Fowler on board. Fowler takes his lead. Chassin to the belt. He checks Fowler. The pitch is six, so that's an even. So we go to the blue die. It's a 30, 3 0, 30. We come down here to versus the right-handed pitcher, and it's a walk. However, with first base occupied, because Chassin is a B or a better pitcher, that'll be ball two with first base occupied. So Rizzo's still in there, ball two, no strikes. And the pitch on this one is a 71. Four is even, so we go to the blue die. Seven, one, 71. We come down Rizzo's column. It's a ground ball to shortstop. And because it ends in one, that tells us that the double play is in order. So it's a ground ball to Arcia, who flips to Travis Shaw at second base, who throws to Jesus Aguilar at first for the twin killing. And suddenly there are two outs and nobody on for the Cubs in the first. Chris Bryant stands in. And Chris hit this one high and deep to left field. Ryan Braun to the wall, and Elvis has left the building. Bryant took this one out of here, and it's one nothing Cubs. How big does that double play look now? And it's one nothing Chicago. Chassin upset with himself. Zobrist coming to bat. Ben, the left fielder. And he's got a 59, and that is a ground ball to second, which is Travis Shaw, who will throw to Aguilar, and that retires the Cubs. So they settle for one run in the first on one hit, and they leave none. And it's one nothing Cubs after one inning. John Lester coming back out to the mound. Jesus Aguilar. Ready to stand in against the lefty. I don't know if we call Lester portly or big boned or what we do, but he's a big gentleman. And he has not missed too many meals in recent years. 
So Aguilar stands in. Jesus, the first baseman for the crew. 274 on the season in 2018. This is a 34, and that's a strikeout on a Lester fastball that got by Aguilar. And that'll bring up Travis Shaw. Moved to second base during the season for the crew. And Mike Moustakas was, was acquired. And, <coughs> excuse me, they moved Travis to second. And this one is a 77 that is lifted in the air to right field. Jason Hayward is going to take it for two down. And now the aforementioned Mr. Moustakas stands in. He had 251 in 2018 with two clubs, Kansas City and Milwaukee. This one is a 96. That's lifted in the air to left. Zobrist moving toward the line, but has room and will make the play. And that's six up and six down for Lester in the first two innings against the Brewers. We go to the bottom of the second for the Cubs. It'll be Russell, Hayward, and Javi Baez for the home team against Yuli Chassin. Russell hit 238 in 2016. This is a 52. That is a strikeout. Chassin with his first of the evening. One down. And Hayward will stand in. Jason hit 230. We have a 306 on base percentage. Pitch to Jason is an error check. We have our first error check of the ball game, and that is 433. That's for Travis Shaw, who we talked about moving to second base. He did move to second base, and he just threw the ball past Jesus Aguilar. Hayward very aggressively running to second base, so he will take second. It'll be a two-base error on Shaw, and the Cubs have a man in scoring position in the second inning with one out. Javi Baez coming to the plate. Javi, 273 in 2016. Would love to give the Cubs a 2-0 lead. But this one's lifted in the air to center field where Lorenzo Kane is coming in a few steps. And that's two down. And now David Ross will come to the plate. Mr. Ross made a career for himself uh, being John Lester's personal catcher. However, however... He hit himself a big home run in the World Series in Game 7 for the Cubs and had some nice power totals. Um, and now the Brewers have an opportunity here. They got first base open. Hayward is on second. There's two men out. John Lester is in the on-deck circle. Do they want to walk David Ross? They're not going to do it. They're going to pitch to Ross. And the pitch is a 77. That's a fly ball to right field. And that's Yelich with his first put out of the evening. And that retires the Cubs. So after two complete, the Cubs won. The Brewers, nothing. And it's the bottom third of the Brewer order coming to bat. It'll be Pina, Arcia, and Chassin in the Brewer third. Six up and six down for Lester so far. Manny Pina was the starting catcher for the Brewers in 2018, most of the time. 252 for Manny. And I'm dropping dice, as I have been doing way too often lately. All right. So, here we go. That's a three, so it's an 81. And an 81 is lifted in the air to center field to Dexter Fowler. And Dexter makes the grab for out number one. Orlando Arcia, 236 <clears throat> on the 2018 season. This is a 94, and that's lifted in the air to Zobrist. For two down, and it's going to be Chassin standing in now. Not much of an offensive threat, but anybody's dangerous with a bat in their hands. Here's Ulysses against Lester, and that is a called strike three. 
nine up, nine down for Mr. Lester. And I would call that dominating right now. So Cubs lead 3-1 after two and a half innings. Shasin will start with the aforementioned Mr. Lester in the batter's box. Pitch to John is trouble. That's hitting the gap to left center, and that's going to split Braun and Kane. Lester has himself a two-base hit, and the Cubs have something cooking in the bottom of the third. Top of the order now, Dexter Fowler. Council in the Brewers' dugout. Craig Council, the manager, getting a little nervous. Craig is known for quick hooks, and I would imagine this series would be no exception. Dexter Fowler, 276. The pitch, trouble, more trouble. Six is a, another one to left field. It's going to get over Braun's head, over Braun's head and hit off the wall. Lester will manage to score all the way from second base. We thought it would take a triple to do that. But he's in, and Fowler has himself a double. It's 2 nothing Cubs, and the home crowd likes that one. Anthony Rizzo standing in. <clears throat> 292 with a 385 on base average for Anthony in 2016. He's 0 for 1 today, hitting to a double play in the first inning. The pitch is a fly ball to right. Fly ball to right. Yelich is going to take it. Fowler is going to tag. He is safe through 65. He bluffs and does not go. He bluffs and does not go. There is one man out. Chris Bryant comes to the plate. <clears throat> Fowler's still on second base. Bryant is up. Zobrist is on deck. And this is a walk. He walks Bryant, and there's men on first and second. Not maybe the worst thing in the world, except Zobrist is a pretty tough clutch hitter. You can ask the Cleveland Indians about that. Ben hit 272 in 2016, played almost everywhere on the diamond. And won himself the World Series MVP for his troubles. First and second. That's Fowler on second. Bryant on first. And one man out. The pitch to Ben. He is lifted in the air to left. Braun running toward the line. He will make the catch. And that's two men out. Fowler retreats to second. Bryant retreats to first. And it's going to be Addison Russell. With two outs, last chance for the Cubs. Addison, 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout back in the second inning. This is an 87 that's lifted in the air to center. Lorenzo Cain's going to come in a few steps, and he will make the play. So Chassin works himself out of trouble. However, however, the Cubs add another run. So it's 2 nothing Chicago after three complete. We go to the fourth. And it's going to be the top of the Brewer's order. John Lester has faced nine. He has retired nine. And it's Lorenzo Cain stepping in. Brewers would like to get something going here. At least get some base runners. Off of Lester. The pitch is a 30. And that is a... Strike three swinging for Cain. And that's... One down in the fourth. Christian Yelich stands in. 2018 MVP. Looking for a hit. This one is... Grounded to second. That's Javi Baez, who's going to glove it and throw to Rizzo for two down. And Ryan Braun stands in with two outs and nobody on for Milwaukee. 0 for 1 today for Ryan. That's a 51. That's a ground ball to Baez, who's going to throw to Rizzo. 
12 up, 12 down for Mr. Lester. <clears throat> and we go to the bottom of the fourth. We're in, and it will be Hayward, Baez, and Ross for those Cubs. Chassin keeping his team in the game, but not exactly throwing a masterpiece at this point. Pitch to Hayward is a 61. And a 61 is a ground ball to Arcia. Orlando throws to Aguilar, and that's one down. Javi Baez stands in. Javi, 0 for 1 today. 51 for Javi, and that's a strike three swinging on a Chassin cutter. And Ross will come to the plate with two outs and nobody on. John Lester in the on-deck circle. Pitch to David is a 29, and that's a walk. He walks the catcher, the number eight hitter. And here comes Lester, who doubled and scored just last inning. All right. Pitch to John Lester is a strike three swinging. So Chassin comes back and gets him. We've played four. Um, yeah, we've played four, and it's 2 nothing Cubs. For the Brewers... It'll be the cleanup hitter, Aguilar, followed by Travis Shaw. And then third baseman, Mike Moustakas, in the top of the fifth. Seventy-nine is a fly ball to right field. That's Jason Hayward. Oop, I looked on the wrong side. Nope, that's center field. That's Dexter Fowler, and that's one down. In the fifth, Travis Shaw stands in. 0 for 1 for Travis today. 48, strike three swinging, two down in the fifth. And that'll bring up Mike Moustakas. 0 for 1 for Mike on the day. And I'm still dropping dice. And this is an 81, and that's lifted to center field where Dexter Fowler will shove it in his hip pocket. And we have 15 up and 15 down for John Lester through five. <clears throat> it's 2 nothing Cubs. We go to the sixth, and it's going to, I'm sorry, the bottom of the fifth, and it's going to be the top of the order for the Cubs. Pine Tar Baseball. Um... Looks at pitcher fatigue this way. Third time through the order, the second letter in the sequence is what the pitcher becomes. So if you look at the scorecard so far, we see that Chassin has faced the Cubs one time through the order and now two times through the order. This will be the beginning of his third time through the order. And what happens then is that his B grade rating drops to a D the third time through and in each subsequent time through the order, so long as he stays in the game. So he's definitely on a short leash with Craig Council. And Dexter Fowler stands in, trying to get something going. Dexter is one for one with an RBI double and a walk in this one so far. 94, that one's hitting the air to left field. And that's going to be Ryan Braun pretty much in his tracks. And that's one down in the fifth. Anthony Rizzo stands in. Anthony, 0 for 2 on the day, including a gut-busting double play grounder in the first. Right before Bryant's home run. Uh, that's a 71 for Anthony, and that's a ground ball to Orlando Arcia. And that's two down. And Chris Bryant stands in. Chris hit a solo homer in the first and walked in the third. 292 on the 2016 season for Chris. 37, he's hit by the pitch. Chassin wanted a piece of him after that home run. So Bryant's on base for the third time. And Ben Zobrist 
the left fielder and cleanup hitter will come up. He's 0 for 2 today. Bryant is aboard. <clears throat> with two, excuse me, with two outs. And here comes Zobris. 29, that's ball four. Because Chassin's grade is down to a D, Zobris will take his base. And that's first and second for Addison Russell. Uh, let's see what they want to do here. Council has the bullpen working. There's two outs and two on. Yeah. <clears throat> Council's not going to mess around. They're going to go to Corbin Burns. Burns is going to come on. To try and get the third out of the inning here. Council has a very well-stocked and rested bullpen. Of course, this being game one of the seven-game series. Pitcher spot is due up third in the top of the sixth inning. And Corbin will probably not last longer than that. Let's look at his card. He is an A pitcher on the road. He has no adjustments for walks or strikeouts, and he has a maximum innings pitched of one. Men are on first and second. That's Chris Bryant on second, Ben Zobrist on first, and Addison Russell standing in with two outs in the right-handed batter's box. 0 for 2 today for Addison, including... A strikeout. A 42 gives him another strikeout, and that will retire the side. So, Council burns a reliever, and it ends up working. That will do it for the Cubs in the fifth. They lose a golden opportunity to pad the lead. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's John Lester taking his warm-up tosses. He has retired the first 15 of this ballgame in a row. It'll be Manny Pena, Orlando Arcia, and then Corbin Burns, or a pinch hitter. We don't know yet. And Pena will stand in 0 for 1, of course, today. 53 is a ground ball to second base, and that's Javi Baez for one down. Orlando Arcia is 0 for 1, of course, on the day. <clears throat> He flew out to Ben Zobrist back in the third. A 56 is a ground ball to Javi Baez, and that's two down. And here comes a pinch hitter for Corbin Burns. Brewers trailing 2 nothing in this one. It's going to be Hernan Perez. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's going to be Domingo Santana. Domingo Santana standing in. Against Lester. <clears throat> Domingo hit 265 in 2018. And that is... A walk. There goes Lester's perfect game. 17 in a row, and the Cub fans are giving him a standing O for that one. And Domingo's on first base. No hitter, still very much intact. 17 up, 17 down until Santana's pinch hit walk. Lorenzo Kane can put one in the seat, so Lester's got to be careful here. This is his third time through the order, so let's see how his grade changes. He's an A-plus pitcher at home. Third time through the order, the red means that this is the third time rating, and he remains an A-plus pitcher. So that's good news for Cub fans. <clears throat> and there goes the no-hitter, and that's a base hit to center field. Santana will stop at second. Kane is aboard with a single. Brewers get their first hit of the game with two outs in the sixth. And Christian Yelich, who has more than enough juice to get one into the bleachers, 
is standing in against Lester. Cub bullpen stirring now, and Yelich with two outs in the six, looking to do damage. 69 is a ground ball to Baez. He's going to go the short way to Russell, and that'll retire the crew in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Santana will not come in to play the field. <clears throat> Let's see who the Brewers are going to go with here. In relief of Chassin. It'll be Hayward, Baez, and Ross. And they're going to use Joaquim Soria, a late season addition for the Milwaukee Brewers during the 2018 season. Let's give you the pitching lines that I've neglected to give you to this point. First, for Yuli Shasin, he went four and two thirds innings as the starting pitcher in today's game. He gave up three hits. He walked four. He hit one batter. He struck out three. He allowed two runs. They were both earned. He allowed one home run. So rather fortunate to only have allowed two runs with all those base runners. So he got himself out of trouble. That's the good news. Bad news, of course, is he was in trouble a lot. For Addison, or I'm sorry, for Corbin Burns, he pitched one-third of an inning to get out of the fifth. He struck out the only batter he faced, Addison Russell. Now we have Joaquim Soria, an A-plus pitcher on the road for the 2018 Brewers. He has automatic strikeouts on rolls of 55 and 77 and a maximum of one inning pitched. Jason Hayward standing in against the right-hander Soria, who was a White Sox earlier in the 2018 season. The pitch is a 62, and that is a ground ball to Orlando Arcia, who loves it and throws across to Jesus Aguilar for one down, and that'll bring up Javi Baez, who's 0 for 2 today with the strikeout. And that is a strikeout for Mr. Baez. Two down. Second strikeout for him on the day, and now David Ross stands in. David is 0 for 1 with a walk today, and that's a 28, and he just got his second walk of the ball game, and that'll bring up John Lester. They're going to leave him in, apparently, and have him pitch the seventh. We'll explain why he's able to do that in just a moment. Soria is still on the mound. Lester in the batter's box. Ross on first base, and there are two men out. Soria to the belt. Checks Ross. He's not going anywhere. And the pitch is a 97. That's a line drive to short that Arcia gloves without too much trouble. And that'll retire the Cubs in the sixth. We go to the seventh. It is 2-0 Cubs. Brewers have the heart of their order up. That'll be Braun, Aguilar, and Shaw against John Lester. Lester, as we said earlier in the game, has a maximum of six innings pitched, as you can see on his card right here. However, he is allowed two runs or less in this ball game, and so he can pitch another inning. That gives him the seventh. If he still is allowed two runs or less at that point, he can stay in in the eighth and subsequent innings until he allows a base runner. Christian Yelich will stand in. No, I'm sorry. Ryan Braun will stand in. Ryan's 0 for 2. The only person with a hit on the day is Lorenzo Kane, who picked it up last inning. John Lester had a perfect game for five and two-thirds. Ryan Braun... Hits a ground ball to Baez. Javi's got it, and he's going to throw to Rizzo for one down in the Brewer seventh. 
fifth, getting late. Jesus Aguilar stands in, 0 for 2 for Jesus with a strikeout. 48 is a ground ball to Javi Baez. He's getting his work in today. That's a throw to Rizzo, and that's two down. And Travis Shaw with two outs and nobody on for Milwaukee. Facing a John Lester buzzsaw at this point. Travis is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And that is a 68. And that's a ground ball to Bryant. He gloves it and throws to Rizzo. And it's a 1 2 3 seventh for John Lester cruising along with a one hitter. Going to have a new pitcher for the Brewers in the seventh. And it's going to be Josh Hader. Soria, one inning, one walk, one strikeout, and no hits, no runs, and no home runs. So Josh Hader comes on to face the top of the White Sox order in the seventh. <clears throat> I'll give you a look at Josh's card. He is an A-plus pitcher on the road. He has automatic strikeout rolls on 55 through 60 and 77. And he has a maximum of two innings pitched. So he is a weapon out of the Brewer bullpen. Cubs with a 2-0 lead. Top of the order, Dexter Fowler in the right-handed batter's box. One for two today. A double, a ribby, and a walk for Dexter and this one is a 64, and that is a ground ball to Arcia. He gloves it and throws to Aguilar for one down. Anthony Rizzo coming on. Anthony 0 for 3 on the day. Rolled into a double play in the first. So 46 is a strikeout on some hater gas, and that's two down. Chris Bryant has been aboard three times. Solo homer in the first, walk in the third, and hit by a Chassin pitch in the fifth. Let's see how Chris does against Hayter. Chris enjoys the lefties. This is a 63. That's a ground ball to first, gloved by Aguilar, who will flip to Hayter, and that retires the Cubs in the seventh. We go to the eighth. And it's definitely getting late for Milwaukee. Moustakas, Pena, and Arcia scheduled against Lester, who is still on. <clears throat> he has pitched two over the minimum at this point and is throwing himself a one-hit shutout. Joe Madden, very concerned. Top step of the Cubs dugout. Has action going in the bullpen. Let's see who's down there. <clears throat> that would be Pedro Strope. Pedro Strope. Warming up in the pen for the Cubs. And Aroldis Chapman taking his jacket off and starting to do some stretching. Moustakas, 0 for 2 on the day. Stands in against Lester. Pitch to Mike is a 37. That's a strikeout. And a cutter for Moustakas. For Lester, that is strikeout number 2, 3, 4, 5 on the day. <clears throat> with the one hitter and one walk still intact. Lester's been dominant. Pena stands in against the Cubs ace. 0 for 2 for Manny. That's a 47. That's a ground ball to Rizzo. Rizzo's going to take it himself, and that's two down in the Brewers' eighth. Orlando Arcia. Two down. 0 for 2 for Orlando. Looking to get anything going he can. 47 is a ground ball to Rizzo, who now will flip to Lester, and that will retire the Brewers in the eighth. 
Lester with the one hitter intact. Cub fans not sure if he's coming out. Give him a standing O as he walks to the dugout. This is the bottom of the eighth now. They're going to pull Hader. And they're going to go with Jeremy Jeffress. Jeremy Jeffress <clears throat> is on to face Zobrist, Russell, and Hayward for the Cubs. Hader went one inning, no hits, no walks, one strikeout, no runs, no home runs on his ledger. So he has a perfect start to his World Series, Jeremy Jeffress. As you can see, as part of that incredible Brewer bullpen of 2018, A-plus on the road. Strikeout modifiers of 55 through 60 and 77. Those are the roles where automatic strikeouts happen. And he has a maximum of one inning pitched. He's looking to hold the Cubs right where they are. It's Ben Zobris standing in. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a walk. This one is anybody's ballgame still. And Chapman is warming up in the Cubs bullpen. Zobris stands in. And that's hit high and deep. That's way back to right field. Yelich to the wall. And this one is gone. Elvis has left the building. It's 3 nothing Cubs on a home run by Ben Zobrist. <clears throat> Jeremy Jeffress, upset with himself, snaps his glove as the new ball comes back out to him. Addison Russell stands in, getting three runs off the Cubs at this point. Looks like a tall order. Addison Russell stands in, 0 for 3 for Addison. Two strikeouts on the day. That's a 43. Jeffress pumps his fist after getting a strikeout of Russell. That's one down in the eighth. Jason Hayward, 0 for 3 on the day. Pitch to Jason is a strikeout. That's two outs on the inning. And Javi Baez, 0 for 3 with a pair of strikeouts himself. But a lot of action on the infield for Baez today. He's played a good game defensively. Just hasn't hit anything. This is a ground ball to Arcia. He gloves it to his backhand side and throws to Aguilar. That retires the Cubs in the eighth. However, Jeremy Jeffress allows a, an insurance run, and that hurts. So we go to the top of the ninth, where it is <clears throat> Lester coming back out. Strope sat down. Chapman is now... Throw, the only man throwing in the bullpen for the Cubs. And Lester is coming back out to try and finish his one hitter. Joe Madden, top step of the dugout, has been there for the last couple innings. And Hernan Perez is going to be the pinch hitter for Jeremy Jeffress right now to lead off the ninth inning. So as I do the accounting, uh, Jeffress, and now Perez. Okay, so Aaron Perez, the Brewers utility man, jack of all trades, as you can see, played just about everywhere for Milwaukee in 2018 and served as one of their right-handed pinch hitters. So he stands in against Lester. He hit 253 with a 290 on base average <clears throat> in 2018. The pitch to Ernan is a, an error check. That's a line shot. 19, that's at Rizzo. And Rizzo boots it. Rizzo can handle it. It's off his glove. Perez will be safe. And while he deserved a better fate, here comes Joe Madden to get John Lester. <clears throat> That's going to do it for Lester. It's going to be the closer, Roldis Chapman. 
coming on in the ninth. No double switch. Chapman will bat in the nine in the nine spot. Should we get that far? And it's going to the top of the order with Lorenzo Kane. So if the Brewers are going to mount a comeback, they got the right guys going. Perez is on first, and so they got a little something started. Kane is one for three today with a strikeout. He is the Brewers' leadoff hitter. Christian Yelich is on deck, who is 0 for 3 today. Chapman, of course, is a left-handed pitcher. His card looks like this. He's an A-plus uh, at home. He does not have any changes to roles uh, for walks or strikeouts, and he has one inning pitched as his maximum, and that will be all he will need if he does his job here. The... Brewer fans that are present at Wrigley Field are standing for Lorenzo Kane. The pitch to Lorenzo is a base hit to center field on the first pitch. Goes right back through the box. Perez will stop at second base. And Christian Yelich, the tying run at the plate with nobody out. So, John Lester pitched eight plus innings. He allowed one hit, one walk. He struck out three, four men. He allowed no runs to this point, although Perez on second base is his responsibility. He stands to get the win. If Chapman can shut it down here, uh, he retired the first um, 17 Brewers in a row. Um, to start this World Series competition, this best of seven between these two clubs that we're starting today. So, the situation is this. It's 3 nothing Chicago. The Brewers have a base runner uh, thanks to a Anthony Rizzo error and a Lorenzo Cain single. They have two men on, Perez on second, Kane on first. Two men on with nobody out for the National League MVP in 2018, Christian Yelich. Christian is 0 for 3 today. He's facing the left-hander Chapman. The pitch is lifted in the air to center field. That's Dexter Fowler, and he will make the catch. Perez took a few steps toward third, but now retreats back to second. And it'll be Ryan Braun with two on and one man out for Milwaukee. Chapman to the belt. Checks Perez at second. Briefly looks at Kane at first. Pitch home to Braun. Strike three swinging on Chapman. Gas. Braun is gone in the ninth. And now we have Aguilar, who has more than enough power to get the job done. If a long ball is what you're thinking. We have two outs in the ninth. Perez on second. Kane on first. There's two men out. Aguilar at the plate. And Aroldis Chapman is on the mound. He is to the belt. He checks Perez. Pitch home to Aguilar. Is a range check. We have not had a range check yet in this ball game. That's going to be Bryant. And Chris dives, gloves it, stands, throws to Rizzo, and that's game one for the Cubs. Aguilar's retired 5-3 to three on the ground out. That will end the ball game. Brewers get two on with nobody out. Can't score them with Yelich, Braun, and Aguilar coming up. So Lester does get the win in this one. Chassin takes the loss. And the save goes to Chapman. 
This one went right down to the wire. Let's look at the line score for the victorious and homestanding Chicago Cubs of 2016. They scored three runs on just four hits, two home runs, and they made one error that could have been very, very costly, but ended up not being so. For the vanquished and visiting 2018 Milwaukee Brewers, they scored no runs on two hits. They committed one error. And that was your ball game. So, this is a best of seven series between these two heavyweights of the Pine Tar Baseball teams of the 2010s set. These are the powerhouse teams of this decade that just concluded. And two of these teams are in this best of seven that we're showing you um, this week over the next several days. We'll see how many days it goes. Uh, the 2016 Cubs have taken game one by a score of three to nothing. Behind the stout left arm of John Lester. Game two, be on my channel tomorrow. I thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the game. This is going to be a good series. These are two very, very evenly matched teams. Check out this set. Get it for yourself today. It's available now at ttlbaseballgame.com, ttlbaseballgame.com. Thank you for your time. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Kurt Berglund. So long, everybody.